Look, you fucking with them thugs, them other niggas really hoes. Look, they yeah, happy new year, family. What up, yo? Is we hot? Yeah. Is they cold? Yeah. Is we on top? Yeah. Do niggas know? Yeah. Said you fucking with them thoroughbred hustlers on the grind. Just remember one thing, bitch, I'm on my own time. Is she bad? Yeah. And my fly? Yeah. So fucking high? Yeah. My paper ride. Yeah. yeah, my paper ride. My nigga, the yeah, your wide. I cook it until it's tan. Hustle it through the night. Nigga, it's suicide. You try to fuck with the hustle. Making me flex my muscle. Can cost you your fucking life. Niggas just so conniving. They mad cause I'm on my grind. Mad because I'm I'm a shy, but nigga, it's only right I do this for the block, yeah, I do this shit for the team Asking me, do I get this, like asking me, do she scream? Asking me, do she cream? Dick all up and down the body, she mine, dog, I got it, you got it Yeah, yeah happy new year, fam I call her paparazzi, she follow me, she my fan I got the bitch from top and you got the bitch from her man It's deep East drug game, death before the sign up Never let it go, we ground it, secure the space around it Know what your paper count is, know what you're trying to spend Bullshit and get you mugged out, and that's just how it is Hey Fucking with them thugs, the mother niggas really hold. They bust me out the bags, bitch. We blowing out the bowl. Is we hot? Yeah. Is they cold? Yeah. Is we on top? Yeah. Them niggas know. Yeah. Said you fucking with them thoroughbred hustlers on the grind. Just remember one thing, bitch. I'm on my own time. Is she bad? Yeah. Am I fly? Yeah. So fuck it. Hey, right. Yeah. You know what yeah. it is, my nigga, you know As the world yeah. turns, shit, I'm leaning on the axis So I'm looking in the mirror, see the man on the gadgets Know the game to ratchet, see a lot Hey, shout out to my family. You know what it is, y'all boys over there off the work. <laughs> shout out to my Chaz Burke family, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's 2023. Hey. Dog, is what we do is we making uh, new, uh, new plans, new goals for this year. Of course, we still sticking to the script, you know what I mean, and dealing with what's been working. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I think, you know what, I'm going to put my foot on the gas a little bit more, but I ain't going to jump off this track and try to make a new lane or nothing. I'm going to stay right here. I think we doing good. Yeah, it's your man's Tita Shirkai, a.k.a. the uh, Heat Press Hustler. Yeah. A.k.a. the, the, the Heat Press Hustler. Detroit's, Detroit Press Club, you know what it is. All things that got to deal with the Heat Press. I'm your east side guru when it comes to these t-shirts. I'm the t-shirt guru. It's 2023, man. I'm in a good mood. Y'all, we finna get right back to it. We ain't gonna change a thing. We just gonna add some gas to it. Hit the accelerator. Yeah, man, you know. I repeat to my brother, Amir Hustle, Phil Thaxton. You know what it is, my guy, Top. Yeah. We still here. Next level, you know what I'm saying, and beyond. Next level and beyond. It's a cold, cold world, man. Snakes to switch places. The demons get closer. See familiar faces. You see the infiltration. Just cause it don't face me, don't mean that I won't go against the grain. It's still making money in my weed, nigga. The only thing I trust here. Yeah, yeah, so you know, nigga, you mean, nigga, trust to leave you stuck here. Trust that that bitch is only fucking with you, man. It's cause so we you up the here. pussy and you blow it like it's cane. You trust that. I keep it moving like the money on the geo. In case, it, you know, in case anybody was wondering what a real nigga look like in uh 2023, yeah. Set your eyes on the screen right now, my nigga, and take a real long gaze at it. We still here, we still winning. Big bro, you know what it is. I put that tool belt on that uh on that logo we was working on too, so. We all the way ready for that, you know? We all the way ready for that. I'ma send I'ma send you a, a, a layout. Let you see what it's looking like. Let you see what it's looking like. I just wanna go and go live for a minute, let everybody see in real time that you know we still here, we still winning. You know what I mean? We still got the skull on there. Represent the fallen ones, you know. Shout out to all the loved ones, you know what I mean? The ones that we lost. You know what I mean? I'm gonna continue to wear that skull for the fallen, you know? Continue to wear that cross for the fall. 
This right here is for love ones. This ain't no no creepy stuff. This ain't no spookism. Yeah, this, this for love ones right here. Yeah, and yeah, you know that. I mean, come on. We're gonna stay grounded. We're gonna stay efficient. We're gonna stay on our shit. We're gonna stay on task. It's 2023. I don't have to do a, you know, my, my cycle starts on in March. So I'm good right now. I'm, I'm still I'm still in the reaping. So we all right. I'm looking at the harvest right now and I'm 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 hibernating the chili. For real, for real. So I'm sitting back on my in my mold. I'm finna hit them hard. I might I might get on y'all nerves every day every day this month. I might get on y'all nerves every day this month, man. You never know. We happy to be here, baby. Yeah. Yeah, because everybody ain't making it. Everybody ain't making dog. Man, I wish I could turn back to here at the time. Shout out. Hey, look, I'm bumping that Detroit shit. I'm bumping that Detroit shit. Make sure y'all check out Sino. Just another kid from Finkel. So I'm going to say, you know me, I represent a particular... Nigga, I represent a particular group of, of people that came out of 1990s, late 80s, 1990s, early 2000s mentality. I represent a particular group that was under assault once we took the bite of the apple. It was a trick play and everything, yeah. But once we took a bite of that apple <clears throat> that was put in front of us, we was automatically stuck and in, 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 entrenched in that game. Once we got in that game, it was set for us to be deleted inside of that turmoil. A lot of us was never supposed to make it out. So I want to say shout out to all my loved ones that still here that can stand tall as a representation of that training, of that rite of passage that got us into where we is today. Not to say that we need to get that moment back. Hell no, I'm not saying let's go back to that shit. No, what I'm saying is salute. To those of us that went through that shit, through that fire, that what we call the Detroit streets in the 90s through the early 2000s. And you made it up out of there without a blemish on your name and you allowed to do business. You done finally caught on, you shook up out that darkness and then you made it to this moment right here. I want to say salute, salute, salute. <laughs> For real. I'm bum Let me bump some music. All these niggas capping like they graduate. So I'ma keep feeling myself. I'm masturbating. Hey, hey. I done seen a lot of shit. You know what it is. Happy New Year, cuz. You know what it is. These niggas be snoozing and lose. These niggas got it confused. How the fuck you gon' teach if you never a stoic? And the king with his head on moves. I'm talking about really salute. Really, really, really salute, though. I really, really salute. Those of us that come up out of that era With the understanding I mean, we raised babies we, we, we stayed the task A lot of us stayed in relationships that we started with And then a lot of us that even though we separated From the one that we started with in the relationship And started with those babies Man, we still co-parenting, we co-mingling co We at a stage in a place right now But we can really be a benefit to our community So salute, salute, salute 2023, yeah. Yeah, so I, you know what I mean? I'm in my mode. I feel good for one of the, for the real ones, you know? Yeah, I feel good. You know what I'm saying? This one's for the assholes. Yeah. Salute, salute, salute. I had to take, I had to look. I got my chair over there. I got a nice little decent little chair. I had to take key to chair. Hey, Keita got the coldest look. Oh, man, I love Keita chair. I might have to get me a chair like Keita chair. You know what I'm saying? Over here at the shop, man, I might be the hardest working t-shirt guy on the east side. I have to be, man, because <clears throat> let me tell you why I work so hard. Let me tell you why I work so hard. Because I know that the idle mind is the devil's workshop, my nigga. <laughs> I know it for a fact, nigga. 
soon as I soon as I'm not on task and when I'm not uh trying to reach a goal, so I have to give myself like short goals, short term goals, quick to stay on task. Cause once I cool down and I ain't on shit, and I get that moment to just chill, I start thinking on some bullshit. Because it's in me. Man, shout out to these young Detroit cats, man. Uh. Now I'm falling in the bus and rim. Hey, feeling some kind of way because it didn't You just got a bag, but you acting like you been on. Told it bold rappers, I'm just here to get my shit on. Once I run it up, I'ma put my bitch on. Cause y'all niggas is something in my bitch ass. I shout out to uh Keena Ski, you know what it is. All this free money and you broke man and shit sad. But we gon' get this pack. Hey, you know what it is. Big bro, what's up though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We in the shop, dog. I'm in the shop. It's a Tabernacle Sunday, and it's the first. It's the uh, New Year. I don't know. You know, it's, it's the same cycle for me. I'm still on the same thing. I, ain't nothing change. Ain't nothing change. We still on task. We still on this agenda. Bring back the mommy pops. You know what it is. Yeah, I just wanted to say salute, 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 man, to the family, the, the one, you know what I'm saying? The ones that started, that, that started on that walk that we started on, and, and through all of that crazy ass shit, nigga. <clears throat> look what we had to learn in that madness. We still had to learn what integrity was. We still had to learn what commitment was, hard work, dedication. So I just want to say salute, salute, salute to those of us that had to go to, I mean, because we had the option to be a snake. We had the option to stab people in the back because a lot of people around us was doing that. We made it through that, through that struggle right there to still be able to come here in this time frame right now and have a brand and have an a, a, a option and an opportunity to be able to present the brand as a qualified motherfucking uh, owner, as a qualified businessman, as a qualified cook, chef, barber, you know what I mean? As a qualified home improvement specialist, a contractor, whatever, you, you know what I mean? As a qualified man that's out there doing the landscaping that's ready for the winter. Salute, 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 salute. That's all I can say. What's up, though? You know what it is, bro. Ooh, I, you know, I, you know, I, I started this. I started to live off with that, opening them up with that motivation, that one hell of a vibe. You know what I'm saying? Giving them some of this game, man. I'm, you know, I'm happy to be here and I'm happy to be uh, seeing whoever around. And I love my family. You know what I'm saying? Those of you that I ain't been linking up with, that ain't been linking up with me, we ain't got to have no conversation about that shit. We ain't tripping about that. You know what it is. St stay doing your thing. I'ma stay doing my thing. Our purposes will align when they supposed to. I ain't tripping. Our purposes will align when they supposed to. I'm gonna tell you, bring back the mom and pops because I think, I think that the family businesses right now is what's needed because we got to get back to the basics. I think we need to get back to the basics. Real talk. I think we need to get. I think we need to be on this shit right now. We need to be looking at our youngin. And almost forcing them, listen, my nigga, you finna get a trade. You finna get this skill right here. You finna acquire this people skill right now. Right now, while I'm over here doing these bids and I'm checking these prices and I'm getting, I'm dealing with clientele right now, you got to take that youngin with you. Take that youngin with you. <clears throat> you know, in, in these next, like, 10 years, we ain't going to be able to get them the option to say, I don't want to do that, man. I don't want to do that, old dude. Pop, hey, daddy, I don't feel like going over there. In the next 10 years, we ain't gonna be a, we, we, we can't afford to give them that option. That's just real talk. We can't afford to give them that option. And I understand that this this war, this business is war, and that it, wars are fought, are different battles fought on all different fronts. So I ain't saying, like, nigga, whatever you doing, stop what you doing and get what I'm on. Don't get what I'm on. I'm just saying... If, if what I'm saying when I get to talking about that bring back the mom and pops, if that shit resonate with you, if you know you finna be, you still been in the hood that you that you grew up in and you know everybody. And then you know, but you ain't never really thought about pitching a tent, put the put your business on the front line of the community and not nothing, instead of keeping it in the residentials. You just ain't thought about it. But I'm trying to tell you, man, there's a lot of real estate out here. 
if, if you can do what you've been doing for the last five years in your driveway, if you can do what you've been doing for the last five, ten years, just on your phone and you pulling up with your work truck, I think you need an HQ. You need an HQ, dog, because our youngest need to see another example of just other than me. Because I'm just one version. You know, I'm a, I'm a rough around the edges version of a business owner in the hood. So at first glance, from a, from a distance, they might not even see me as they'll see like Sam or, or Al or Saidi at the, at the grocery store or at the corner store. They might see me as some street guy that's hustling, that they locked up on a building. You know what I mean? I think we need to be able to put some of the more, than, the ones who we deem regular, the, the regular motherfucker. I mean, the one that's, that, that, that got a boutique, but you got your online boutique. I think you need some, let's get back to the brick and mortar. We ran away from brick and mortar 10 years ago because we wanted to go inside of the web, uh, the web world, we wanted to go into the digital world using our intellectual property. But I don't think that one need to exist and then without the other one. I think we need both the brick and mortar on the ground and the, and the digital means to be able to promote what we physically got. But we got to bring, we got to get back to the basics. I think we need to get back to the basics. Just real talk. I think we need to get back to them basics. You know, if you ain't made no New Year's resolutions, man, hopefully it's because whatever you're doing is working, you stand consistent, stick to your goals, stay on your lane. You know, get strong where you are right now. Continue to establish yourself, especially the businesses that started during the pandemic. If your business started in 2020 and after, man, listen when I tell you this. You're going to have to treat your business and your brand and your hustle like the bamboo plant. Let me talk to you. You're going to have to treat you're going to have to treat your business and treat your and, and, and practice consistency like you was raising a bamboo plant. Let me tell you something about that bamboo plant. You can look this shit up. If you get a bamboo plant, you're going to have to water it and water it and nurture this plant for five years before it breaks out the ground. The bamboo plant is not going to start growing for the first five years that you got this plant. And after that first five years, the next 90 days is going to shoot up to like 90 to 100 feet. That's a good, good example. Think about your business. You in the second year right now. You just started in 2020. You in the second year right now, and you done went through your up. You done had you a up. You started with a up. Because if, if, I know, trust me, you ain't got to tell me. I know what really happened. I, I know that you really didn't invest and, and get back what you invested based off of the 2020 and 2021 model. I know. You played with that money, and when that money slowed up, your business slowed up. You got to get past that. You got to treat your business and your hustle like it's the bamboo plant, my nigga. I'm just, I'm just trying to talk to you. You got to treat that motherfucker. The bamboo plant, if you water this motherfucker, it's not going to show up in the third year. It's not going to show up in the fourth year. It's going to take five years before that bamboo plant breaks the ground. And when the bamboo plant breaks the ground, it's going to shoot up. It's going to shoot up. That's the opportunity that you've been waiting for. But it's going to take, I mean, they, statistics tell you that most independent businesses, they call them small businesses. Most independent businesses uh, normally start and fail within the first two years. But what they don't say is we understand as an independent, if you come from where I come from, we know the game as up to date, down tomorrow. So we ain't tripping about the first two years It's going to have a rise in the fall. We just know that's just part of the vibration. This is what ours doing. That's what our business always done. It always vibrated. It was always up, down, up, down. So, but if you started your business in 2020 and you're not aware that you, you know what I mean, your business flows on a rhythm. That's why we say it's a wave. It's like a wave. That if you're not prepared for that downtime, that downtime and you being able to utilize your brain and, and, and your body, and your skills and your ability to, to, to divert from one thing you have to use to compensate for this moment right here, then it's gonna feel like the, the business is over with. It's gonna feel like you failed. That's just the truth. You know what it is? You know what it is? Royale Aloysius. 
you know what it is. <laughs> it's just the truth. You're going to feel like, damn, man, this shit fucked up, dog. I, I tried and it didn't work. You're going to feel like that because the money slowed up. That was just the, that was the end of that wave right there. A lot of us that was already established in 2018, 2019, that was just another moment for us. We right back to normal. The ones who was broke and who didn't have their businesses, too many of them is not, is not in business no more. It's too many of them that went right back to looking like 2019. It's too many of us. And I don't believe that that was our purpose. I don't think that we were supposed to get that break like that, catch a hell of a break like that. 2020, everything shut down except online sales. And then all of a sudden you get straight to, you doing business online. And then when that slows down, when everybody can go back outside, your business slow down. I don't think that it was, that that mean that it was over for you doing business. It wasn't. I think that that, what happened was whatever the fuck they put down, that it was beneficial for you. It was, it was, it was, gave you an opportunity to capitalize in that moment. And if you was to see it that type of way, my nigga, I'm just trying to tell you, you would know that the reason why it slowed down because the economy slowed down. It wasn't nothing that you did wrong. It was just, okay, you in, you established, you established yourself a little bit. You know what I mean? What you really did was tested the waters. You 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 tested yourself and to see how you were acting, how, what your customer service looked like, what your abilities looked like. You know what I mean? That was part of the qualifying process. So you qualified yourself to be able to push a product or have a service, provide a service. Now that you qualified yourself to have a product for sale, have something for sale or a service that you can provide, now that you done qualified yourself, now it's time to do the work. Now your, your customer is looking at you now like, okay, okay, my nigga, yeah, you want it now. So now when I come and check for you, you know what I'm saying? I need you to be on task. So I ain't holding nobody up. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just what it is, my nigga. I just want to talk to you for a minute. I feel real good. You know? That's when it all started to be confusing. Oh, I was headed down the wrong road. Didn't let y'all know what's going on, man. It ain't a four years. Nigga belly was screwing. Had to be in the trenches. Didn't have no excuses. Product of my environment. Drinking on deuce deuces. Fucking with different bitches. Seeing which one of loses. Yeah, my guy. Telling losers, not telling them what the truth is. To keep it really That's my guy right there. Really Every, you, know, I, you, you know what it is, my guy. Like yeah. Raised in the ghetto when you used to know. Happy New Year, so for real. Dope property. It was always one or two niggas in the hood that had it off of me. It was hard growing up, my nigga, honestly. Who am I checking? I'm just checking yeah. in. I'm just checking in with the family. You know what I'm saying? Just checking in. It's easier than doing roll call. I was trying to make all them phone calls the other day, you know what I mean, to do a roll call just to make sure I holiday everybody. And I can't do it. So I say, let me go live right quick, you know. Everybody get a chance to see it on their own time. I was always told to keep my pocket straight. Stay up in your lane and keep that sucker shit up out my way. As soon as you come up, salute to all the businesses, man. Salute to the examples. Salute to the assholes, man. Salute to the disrupts. Blatantly. Most of the time, I just pay this shit on never mind. Want me to lose, but I keep on winning every time. That's my guy right here. Man, with these niggas when they out of line. Cause I ain't got the time. My life's changed. I move with a different attitude. I'm sucker free, and yeah, I'm moving with gratitude. Why they be hating on me? No, I ain't mad at you. No, I ain't mad at you. Cause where I'm from, we don't complain. No, we do is say, hey, man. Never change, so all we do is say, hey, man, hey, man, hey, man. Yeah, I got this little mic stand. I got this little phone stand, man. Keep me on point. You know, keep me on point.